just when things cannot get any worse. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? It's me coming at you again with another vid. Well, I have to report some more unfortunate news in the ranks of the heavyweights. Um, Alexander Povetkin has just um, tested positive for melodonium. Okay. Now, according to this report by Dan Raphael, the senior writer of ESPN, heavyweight contender Alexander Povetkin has tested positive for the banned substance melodonium, putting his mandatory shot at uh, world title holder Deontay Wilder in jeopardy. Now, Russia's Povetkin who was supposed to challenge Wilder in a much-anticipated bout on May 21st at the Konya, the Konika, however you pronounce it, the Konika Ice Palace in Moscow, tested positive for the substance in a urine test conducted by the Las Vegas-based USADA. I'm sorry, not USADA. What? <laughs> Vada. Uh, on uh, April 27, according to the agency's report, which was issued Friday and first obtained by ESPN.com. Now, Vada President Dr. Margaret Goodman sent a letter Friday uh, forming both camps as well as the WBC, whose title Wilder holds of the positive result. Quote, this letter is to advise you that the A sample um, urine specimen number 3969608 collected from Alexander Povetkin on April 27, 2016 in Chekhov, Russia, Russia, through his participation participation in VADA program has been analyzed for anabolic agents, diuretics, beta-2 uh, agonists, stimulants, and drug of abuse, Goodman wrote. The results of the uh, analysts are as follows. At first, urine specimen contains melodium, medonium, I'm sorry. The report also includes a copy of the laboratory report. Now, Mr. Pavekin has a right to promptly request a analyze of the B sample as an expense. Please be aware that Vada does not adjudicate results nor determine whether sanctions are appropriate. As with the rules, all as with all rules, adverse findings are reported to the relevant commissions who make such determinations. Now, I'll leave it at that and uh, add my two cents here. First things first, if you guys don't know what medellium uh, is, medellium is, um, is a stimulant, okay? Is it an anabolic steroid? No. Is it a performance-enhancing drug? Yes, it is. And the reason why, because it increases oxygen in the human body to a, a, a long period of time where um, this individual or the competitor, I should say, will not have, will not spend his energy on uh, stamina meaning that he'll have a limited stand on until a certain amount of days. Uh, this is the same particular drug that Maria Soprova was busted for. And, of course, uh, she had um, was banned from, you know, the tennis, uh, you know, from the, the for the profession of tennis. Uh, now, this will also explain why Alexander Povetkin was able to uh, increase his stand after the Marco Huck fight. Now, if you don't, if many of you guys don't recall in that particular fight with Marco Huck, he was literally, literally out of gas after the fifth round. He didn't have much energy. He didn't have much in his tank. It seemed like there was some moments in that fight where he was ready to go. He was just, you know, ready to just give up because of the amount of energy he spent in that fight. Um, you know, in that very tough fight against Marco, which is a very good fight, by the way. Now, what the irony about this situation is that he tested positive for this banned substance days before the De 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 Deontay Wilder fight. Now, what does this mean for his uh, shot at the WBC title? It is in jeopardy, yes, but as um, Vada has stipulated in their letter, they said that we don't, um, we do not um, oversee such uh, policy in that situation when it comes to sanction of bodies, meaning that we do not restrict world title shots from another opponent uh, in a um, positive test results. However, that will be up to the sanction of bodies to make that determination. So the WBC will have to make this call here. And all I got to say is this. If you ask me, as much as I want Pavekka to get that title shot, for him testing positive, I, I, I just can't. There's just no rational way to explain. I can't see that he should be even warranted a, uh, he should be warranted a title shot after this result. Now, that doesn't mean that he shouldn't fight Wilder. Oh, no. I think the fight should go on. But at the same time, if he does win, I don't think he should be awarded that title. So, needless to say, 
this fight is pretty much meaningless in to degree. Now, however, he does have a right to, uh, sum, uh, to submit a B sample, but the problem is it's eight days away, and I'm not sure how fast that result could come in before that fight, before May 21st. So, yeah, this is uh, very unfortunate news. And I will also say, too, is that Alexander Pivekin had, had a hell of a lot of energy and stamina in that fight against um, both fights against Carlos Takam and uh, um, Vladimir Klitschko. So, I don't know. But there's also a possibility that this fight could be canceled based off this result, and that would be very, very unfortunate. But if it does get canceled, don't be surprised. Now, to those who say, who've been saying for the last year that USADA is a better drug testing agency than VADA, <laughs> y'all, y'all need your brains checked if you're going to make that say, statement. You're deluded. And you, I know why you said that, because of a particular st situation that went down last year by a particular fighter. And you guys know who I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah, I'll post a link to the article below and let you let me know what you think about it. If you have some more, excuse me, if you have some more information, please share it in the uh, comment section below. Share, subscribe, signing off. Peace.